assigning a macro to an icon. Now that we have a macro and we've tested it by running it so we know that it works, it would be nice to be able to run the macro by just clicking an icon. At the top of our screen we have the quick access toolbar. Clicking on the drop down arrow here we can go down into more commands and from here now we can see the icons that are currently on the quick access toolbar. I want to add an icon that will run my macro for me. So over here on the left where it says popular commands we're going to click on the drop down arrow and choose macros. And from here we will see a list of any of the macros that we have recorded. So I can see my macro here called Mac Headings. Clicking on this once I'm then going to press the Add button. So now I can see that the macro is now part of my quick access toolbar. Down below here we can see the word Modify so I can modify the icon that I've added. So clicking on Modify I'm able to go in here to choose another icon that represents my macro. So for example, I might decide to choose the smiley and then the name that displays when you hover over the smiley is going to be insert monthly headings. So now when I press the OK button, I can now see that as part of my quick access toolbar. So when I press the OK button, I can see an addition to my quick access toolbar. While the toolbar is up here on the title bar, some of the icons don't come out very clearly. So before I use this icon, I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and I'm going to change it so that it's showing below the ribbon. Now I can see the quick access toolbar and I can see the smiley. And when I hover over the smiley, I get to see the options insert monthly headings. So I'm going to go to sheet two, which is a clean sheet. And to run this macro, I'm just going to click on the smiley and it runs the macro for me. Again, if I go to another sheet, select A1, run the macro by clicking on the icon and it runs the macro for me on screen. So click on the drop down button of your quick access toolbar and choose more commands. And this will allow you add the macros that you would like to be able to run using an icon.